Okay, got to work. Merry meet everybody, it's Kaina Enothier here. As I said before, this is my witchy show and tell video. I already did the Oracle and Tarot deck ones. Okay, let's get to it. So, this is going to be me showing like all my main tools on my altar, where I got them from, how long I've had them, etc, etc, and my experiences with them. The very first tool I want to share, because it's like, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, out of all my tools on my altar, this one's the one that I've had the longest. I made it myself. Well, me and Draco made it a long, long time ago. Is my altar patent and our altar pentacle. This thing I've showed like a hundred times. I already know I think the elemental placements are in the wrong spots on the pentacle. I figured that out years later when I looked at it. I was like, fuck. But that doesn't really matter. It's still a pentacle. I realize that this is lopsided. The, the freaking that point is lopsided, but it's still the point, not the point. Me and Draco, I think I made this back when I was it was either 18 or 19 years old. I'm gonna say, I think I think it was at 18. So hold on, I'm a little stupid when it comes to that. I've had it for about five or six years now. Which is a very long time to have a, a ritual goal. Uh, what we did was, this was actually the bottom of a paper towel holder. That you just put the rod in. Took the rod out. As you can see, the hole's still there. I put something in there to fill the hole. And you can still see the... Everything on the... Uh, whatever. And we painted... We etched a design into it. Painted it. And then put a wood gloss over the top of it. As you can see, that's shiny. Which reminds me, I need to clean this bad boy. It is dirty. It has got, I don't know if you can see it. It has got scratch marks, a little bit of wax I had to take off again. I use this in literally all my rituals. I put all my candles on it when I'm doing my spells, to charge my items, everything. This thing has been with me for the whole freaking way. For literally almost a quarter, a huge chunk of my practice of witchcraft, I've had this baby with me. And I'll never get rid of it. It's my favorite altar pentacle. I have used other altar patents and all their altar pentacles, but I don't like them. I don't feel anything with it. This one, it's still radiating so much energy. I love it to death. It's my favorite tool on my altar. Next tool, I think if I'm not mistaken, I got this one when I was either 19 or 20. I think, no, I had I was 20. So I've had this one for only four years. Is my Athame, or Athame, whatever the hell you want to pronounce it as. Um, I got this from 13 Moons. I purchased it. I need to clean it because it's a little rusty right now. As soon as I got it, I dulled it out, which is what you're supposed to do with Wicca, and I don't want to accidentally cut myself. It's, to me, this one called to me when I had it online, when I seen it online, and I've always felt a connection to it ever since. It's just, uh, I've tried using other athames, I don't like them, I keep going back to this one. So this one's to stay. Okay, the next tool is new, I just literally made this a month, like, a, think about a month ago. I found it at a cemetery again, keep finding wands at a cemetery, is my new wand. It's a little tiny, cause, like I guess I have tiny hands, so, it's pine wood. It's made of pine wood. I took the wand, well, I kind of shaved off the bark, put it like a gold cloth there, put a little quartz crystal. It has little chips of, um, little amethyst chips right there, which I'm going to be putting more on. And then I took, this is actually nail polish. <laughs> you can still smell the damn nail polish a little bit, it's still airing out. I put nail polish and yep, this is actually silver nail polish. I used to paint this, to paint silver. I absolutely love this. The energies feel amazing. This was in the same cemetery that my grandpa Parker was buried at, and my aunt Cheryl. So I always feel sometimes I feel the presence when I work with this wand. Okay, so next tool. This one I got this one when I was, if I'm not mistaken, 22. Or 21, so it's not, and I just spilled water on me. Way to go, Kyanite. I forgot there was water in here. 
derp. But anyway, is my chalice that I got from 13 Moons as well. It shows all three aspects of the goddess, made in, mother made it in chrome. Um, it's got a removable cup thing so you can clean it out easier. I love it. It's gorgeous. Now, my next tool, this one's relatively new. I've only had it for about a year now. Is my cold. Oh, it's falling over here. Is my cauldron. The lid, I don't know where the hell it is right now. And I was burning charcoal that's in here. It's actually glass. It's a glass. Like, it's supposed to be a kettle. It's a kettle thing where you cook, like, kettle beans and, like, all that crap. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I'm trying to say. Found that at my job for five bucks. So I was like, I'm getting it. Because the other cauldron I had is about, was about this size. Big and different comparisons. And I can burn more stuff. Mostly burn charcoal discs, papers, and stuff like that in here. I sometimes use it for scrying. I've only had this one for about a year now. Do, 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 do. Okay, so and then my altar bell. The real, the other one I had broke, unfortunately, when I moved. But Draco gave me these. It's actually like a Chinese bell. You just go like this. Draco had these things since he was fuck. Since we were dating back when we were 16 years old. That, that's a time script. I really love that bell though too. I'm trying to think what else. And then, I know it's not technically a tool, but I'm going to share it anyway. Oh, yeah, it is a tool. My sensor or my incense burner is a stick incense burner. I had this one for only about a year. I think if I'm not mistaken... Where the hell did I get this at? I got it from Spencer's at the mall. It's got a dragon and a skull on the end. It's got little skulls and bones right there. It, this is just gorgeous to me. This is my most favorite incense burner on the freaking planet. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Okay. And then, I'm trying to think what other tools I have that I've had for a long time. And then, the last one I'm going to share with everybody is my, it's a little dusty, my black mirror. I've had this bad boy for quite some time. I've made it myself. As you can see, it's got dust all over it and whatnot, I gotta clean it. I'm thinking about maybe putting like gluing quartz crystals onto it or citrine stones to keep it charged and blessed at all times. Or some kind of crystals all around it to keep it charged and blessed whatnot all that good stuff but yeah that's pretty much it and then I was gonna show my book of shadows but I've already showed that like a hundred times but this is the one tool that I've been working on like non-stop which in the future about to give it another month or two I will be doing another update on this book if anyone wants me to do that please leave a comment if you want me to do that I just showed one not too long ago, but I've been working on it again since then, and I'm going to keep working on it. As a matter of fact, actually my mom bought me some pages to like put a notebook of shadows like blank parchment, or not blank, like parchment pages you purchase online and stuff, which was nice of her. I'm going to cut it. The only thing with those, um, I have one in my book, you have to trim it down a little bit, which I will, and put it in my book of shadows. Like I love my mom to death, she's always supportive of me and my craft. But enough ranting, that's about it. So I want everyone, if you want to, to do like a video response to this video. Do like a witchy tool show and tell, like you know what I mean? Like show off your tools and talk about it. It's just something to do, something kind of fun and magical to share our experiences with our tools and all that with everybody. So until next time, merry part and blessed be.